over in the fucking pit. Open it, push it back, over it to them. Turn to Never. Uh, we, we may get around to doing a DVD, but we released the documentary with our last album, Beast, which is uh, probably more important to us than a, a live performance, because it's the history of the band in the past eight years. We filmed, we filmed a lot of stuff that ended up on that DVD. Um, we filmed for several years, and then just as time went on and on, um, things uh, things happened, and, and it, it worked out that the footage from that was used in the DVD, and that was the most appropriate use of that footage. So. Negative. Uh, the past. Okay. The past. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, he had a rough battle with uh, drugs and alcohol, and and uh, him leaving the band was the was a positive thing because <laughs> we weren't getting along with him. He wasn't getting along with us. He was miserable being in music, and he was drinking so much out here to cope with it and stuff like that. He was he didn't want to be here anymore, so it was bringing everyone down. So him leaving was a good thing, yeah. and for him too. And for him too. When you get to a crossroads like that with anything in life, whether it be a situation or something else, it's time to move on. Uh, you know, loosely, but you know, the person beyond the business stuff at the band, I really not care to comment on. It. Yeah, it's just personal stuff. So yeah. I started writing one song. That's about it. We're going to start getting to it, but we're not going to release an album as quickly as we did that one. Not so much that we couldn't do it, but we just feel, I think the world could maybe use a break from us for a bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad. No, I mean, we're just going to, we've done that kind of situation, just pump these albums out, five records in eight years, I think. So, it's like, why not? Yeah. yeah change it up I mean part of the reason we did two records back to back so fast is because it was something different to do and um, I think it was great but I think that like what John was saying that if you put material out too 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 much too quick that it's it loses its effect on an overall scale so we may you know like we we didn't make people wait a long time for our for Beast we may make them wait a little bit longer for the next record I mean, I don't know. Hasn't been talked about, so at this point, no. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we'll see. It's, uh, it's Focus on something else musically? I just got divorced, so I got nothing going on. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking about actually going to Asia in February, which I've never done. Never go traveled anywhere by myself. Um besides traveling with the band and stuff. So I'm thinking about doing that. Uh, I'm just, you know, see what happens. We have our time off here and there. And, uh, you know, we'll just uh, kind of take it as it goes. I haven't thought about it too much. Basically, just growing up being a fan of guitar playing and whatnot, I, just, um, I love the culture of guitar, and so does Mike. And, um, and just kind of wanted to put out a website that as a kid growing up um, that I would have loved to have. When I first started playing guitar, there, there was the internet, but there wasn't the internet as on a global scale like it is now. Um, and, you know, we, uh, we just love everything to do with the guitar playing. And, and um, you know, there's all kinds of things on it that I, I you know, I, I would, as a fan now growing up and having the technological capabilities that there is, I would, I would like to be able to see that stuff. So I'm kind of putting myself back into my shoots as a kid with, with you know, 10, 15 years later. 
No, we have a pretty good uh, infrastructure as far as uh, people writing for us, and um, it's uh, you know it's a very well put together company, and um, and it's 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 great. I mean, we can go out and say, for instance, you know, we do rig rundowns and stuff like yeah, that. So it's, I'm on tour with these machine head guys, dark tower guys, bring me the horizon guys. I mean, I've gotten to know all of them, and uh, you know, we can film stuff out here. So it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone. It, his video is coming soon. Okay. Because he plays a lot of the guitar in the band, so we, yeah. we do like lessons. So John's gonna have uh, some videos coming. Up. Make good records. That's the ultimate goal. Yeah. And uh, it's really fun playing big, being a big band and playing to a lot of people. But if that doesn't happen, you know, success is in and out um, for most bands. So. As long as the records are good, you can kind of like know you're doing the right thing for yourself. No, not really. Um, I mean, I guess there's always decisions like you could go back to school or whatever, but in general, drumming and music is uh, the only thing I'm really good at. Um, so stick with it. Uh, it's a tough one. Yeah, it's a, that's a good question. Probably how drunk I got after the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Shows vary. Like, you could be sick one night or whatever, and but your general intent is to give it 100%. So, it's, I feel I do a pretty good job of that as a drummer. I don't have that mentality. Like, it's my last show, but um, I try I try and play my best and my hardest and most energy. But yeah, I don't, not not before I take stage every night. I'm like this could be my last show. I don't, you know, it doesn't really cross my mind. But you know, we go out there with the mentality to do our best. I think we do all right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he was. He took us out on our first tour. Um, Super Joint Ritual did. So that was that was nice of him. And uh, he's always been nothing but cool to us. Yeah, always been cool. Been to his house. It's, it's been very hospitable. I mean, it's. It's kind of interesting when you get around one of your heroes. He's larger than life. I mean, when I first met him, it was pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty just kind of intimidating at the same time. Um, but you know, you it's kind of part of the dream of being in a situation where you're in a band that tours, is that eventually you're going to be in the same room with someone that you admire. And it's cyclical, so I'm sure that there's been bands that we've that have played with us that probably not on the same scale as me admiring him, but still, you know, people admiring us because they were influenced by us growing up. Not not Hetfield, yet to meet Hetfield. That's 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 the guy. That's that's the guy I've yet to meet. But um, met everybody else in the band. Actually, I haven't met Kirk Hammond either, but I, I would love to meet Hetfield and, you know, what about you? Yeah, pretty much, but yeah, except for some of the Metallica guys, but, and uh, it's cool getting to chat with somebody that you uh, totally respect. Oh, thank you. Joey Sturgis, who does like, um, he did the latest of Muir and like Attack Attack, stuff like that. Um, production wise, I think it's just so full and rich and big. I like his stuff right now. Yeah. Musically, you know, uh, those bands are definitely in a whole different genre than us, you know what I mean? And I, I understand that. Um, but, uh, and do like their bands too. But uh, production wise is what really gets me. With some of that stuff. Sonic brilliance. Yeah, just thick, rich, and big, and deep, and, and warm. Like it. Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Is it? Um, we didn't even think about it. Okay. Probably wait for the 20 to do something real cool. Yeah. Um, 10th anniversary of, of, uh, of being a band, I guess. Yeah, but not even our first record. Which I don't think we'll ever play that record in its entirety. <laughs> but uh, no, no special plans. But we have touring basically planned up to the end of next summer. After that, we don't know. 
Why not? <clears throat> Support the Lou Reed Metallica project. Let's do it. No comment. <laughs>